Change I is the way of life. Change is the way of life and we the pensioners must change ourselves according to the time. In this digital age when the world is fast moving towards AI, artificial intelligence, we need to adopt virtual media like webinars, social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and LinkedIn etc etc to highlight and pursue our issues. Vote is undoubtedly a great weapon but consolidation of elderly vote power is very difficult in our country and may take very long time. Then what is the alternative? I suggest connecting to ground roots, identifying an issue, raising the aspiration issue and first circulating it with clinching justification to affiliates members more partners supporters followers and colleagues who can upvote downvote and suggest amendments. Once the stipulated time to vote is over the issue is finalized. Raise it with the concerned authorities. Share the representation with affiliates members more partners supporters followers and colleagues. Post it on global social media platforms. Concerned BPS VPs and secretaries should inspire each affiliate affected member to individually write to the concerned authority supporting the BPS representation. After about 45 days of sending the representation Affiliated association affected members should seek under the RTI Act 2005 the status of the representation with fine noting and point-by-point -point action taken report. Simultaneously more and more affected persons and associations should share the issue on social media and global platforms to make it viral. Bharat Pensioners Samaj, BPS, HQ should seek a personal audience with concerned authorities to discuss and plead the issue without hurting the ego of the concerned officers. I am sure with supporting action from affiliates and members and sharing issues with NCJCM, staff side, lawmakers and media persons we can achieve the desired results. Embracing Digital Advocacy A strategy for pensioners in the age of AI in an era marked by rapid technological advancement and societal change, adaptation is not just a choice but a necessity. As pensioners, we find ourselves at a crucial juncture where traditional methods of advocacy may not suffice in addressing our evolving needs. With the rise of artificial intelligence, AI, and the increasing prominence of digital platforms, it is imperative that we harness these tools to amplify our voices and champion our causes. Gone are the days when physical gatherings and traditional lobbying were the sole avenues for advocacy. In today's digital age, we must embrace virtual media such as webinars and social platforms like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn to highlight and pursue our issues effectively. While voting remains a potent tool, the consolidation of elderly voting power poses challenges that may take considerable time to overcome. Thus, we must explore alternative avenues to ensure our voices are heard and our concerns addressed. One such alternative is a strategic approach that involves grassroots engagement, issue identification, and coordinated advocacy efforts. Here's a proposed framework. 1. Grassroots engagement. Begin by connecting with the grassroots level of our community. Identify pressing issues that affect pensioners and resonate with their experiences and concerns. 2. Issue identification and circulation. Once an issue is identified, circulate it among affiliates, members, more partners, supporters, and followers. Provide compelling justifications and solicit feedback through upvoting, downvoting, and suggesting amendments. 3. Formal representation. Once the issue is refined, formalize it into a representation and submit it to the concerned authorities. Share this representation with all stakeholders and encourage individual support through letters to the authorities. 4. Utilize RTI Act 2005. After a stipulated period, utilize the right to information, RTI, Act 2005 to seek the status of the representation, including file notings and action taken reports. This ensures transparency and accountability in the process. 5. Amplify through social media. Simultaneously, leverage social media platforms to amplify the issue's visibility. Encourage affected individuals and associations to share the issue widely, making it go viral and garnering broader support. 6. Engage with authorities. Seek personal audiences with concerned authorities to discuss and plead the issue, emphasizing collaboration and constructive dialogue without undermining their authority. 7. Collaborative advocacy. Collaborate with other relevant bodies such as NCJCM, staff side, lawmakers, 
and media persons to garner additional support and amplify the message. By following this strategic approach, supported by active participation from affiliates, members, and stakeholders, we can significantly enhance our advocacy efforts and achieve tangible results. In embracing digital advocacy, we not only adapt to the changing times but also empower ourselves to effectively address the challenges and opportunities presented by the age of AI. Together, let us harness the power of technology to uphold the rights and welfare of pensioners in our society. Jai Bharat